set of leg exercises here. Starting off with the leg press, and joining me is ISTV professional bodybuilder, Troy Zuccolato. Now, Troy, before I go through this exercise, why don't you tell us exactly what this exercise is doing for his thighs? Well, this, this is similar to a squat a, a lot, except you have a lot more back support here. You're able to use a lot of heavy weight, and it's a good overall mass builder for the legs. That's right. We had Masters competitor Ed Corney on here, and he was emphasizing that this is the exercise to take all the pressure off the lower back and put it all in the muscle. Absolutely. It's, a, it's a, Again, it's like the squat. It is for a lot of people that do heavy lifting and, and hurt their back from doing squats. This will help support their back so they're able to handle that heavy weight. Right. Okay. Let me jump in. All right. How many times a week do you train legs, Troy? Well, I like to do, I do each body part only once a week, boy, which a lot of bodybuilders don't and a lot of bodybuilders do. I just feel like if you come in and bomb it um, sufficiently, you need a good week to recover because the legs is such a big muscle. Well, I think as we get more information, more scientific information about bodybuilding, I agree with you completely because I think in the beginning, because of our enthusiasm, we all overtrain. I only train each body part once a week myself. Absolutely. Okay. 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 <coughs> the Duke's there. All right, Troy. How much weight would you normally go up to for on this? I mean, this is a lot of weight here, but I know a lot of guys, they add weight to the side and they have uh, apparatus to add weight on top. What's well, a good I'm, number? I've actually, uh, this is an exercise that I'm pretty strong on. I've done as many as, you know, 20 reps with 1,200 on uh, on this particular exercise. This is one that I feel that you can really get into. There's no real fear of hurting yourself. Right. So you can really go all out. That's right. And you're, and you're really situated in a machine that you really can't hurt yourself. Right. And once again, depending on where your feet are, it's going to depend on what part of the thigh you're working. That's correct. You can also get some hamstring in there. That's very true. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay. Our next exercise is going to be squats. All right. Again, this can be done with a free bar or it can also be done on a Smith machine as we're demonstrating here. Okay. And like you said, uh, Troy, on a free bar, it's a little bit more harder because you've got to concentrate and balance, and usually we like to do it in front of a mirror. On, on a Smith machine, we don't need a mirror. We're locked in. Absolutely. That's, that's the advantage of doing it on a Smith machine because you don't got to worry about balancing it. It's just straight up and down movement. You're able to, and psychologically, you're not worried about hurting your lower back, so you're able to handle a little bit heavier weight. That's right. And once again, the foot positioning is all important on this. Some people like to have their feet close together or have the wider stance. Uh, pointing the toes out. Uh, everyone's different. Absolutely. If you notice how Boyer does this, he does a full squat where he goes rock bottom. And that's when, when Sean, I don't know how Sean does, but I know when I do it, I don't go quite as low because it seems to me it hurts my knees and it takes a lot of pressure off my muscle. But Boyer prefers to do it a full rep. Right. I, I also do full reps, Troy. I think it's whatever works for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I've always done squats that way. I think if I tried to do it less than full, it would feel awkward to me. Oh, right. Exactly. This here, I think everyone will agree it's a very basic movement for the legs i don't think anybody in bodybuilding has actually built great legs without doing some type of squatting movement it, it, you know it's the bread and butter of bodybuilding right here I that's mean, very true if you don't squat you're not going to have great championship sides no doubt about it i hear you or i have a tendency to work my way up to five plates on each side and i very rarely use the smith machine i like to use free weights and I don't like a spotter. What's your take on that? Do you like to have a spotter and go that heavy? I don't really, I don't really like, I don't go that heavy on the squats anymore. But I'm like, yeah, I don't much care for a spotter. A spotter. Yeah. If a spotter is around me, it seems like it bothers me. Yeah. It locks me into the, to the squat rack. It's a little cage. That's yeah. it, Troy. Good. The perfect way to spot, if you were going to uh, have a training partner, it's from right underneath the chest here, and I'll demonstrate with Troy. You want to get in there securely, and don't be afraid to touch and assist. Helping him from the bottom That's of the pack to help him pull up. Good job, Troy. Good. Okay. Another Troy. important point to remember, if you're going to do squats, I think particularly with the free bar, is to pick a spot on the wall. If you don't have a mirror, an eyeball that, which will allow you to keep your balance That's better. for right, a focal point. Let's move on into okay. the next exercise, the lunges. Last exercise we're going to do in this cycle of leg training is known as the lunges. I'll let Sean explain it while I try and catch yeah, my breath. Yeah, I was going to say, this is definitely the body part that takes the most energy Absolutely. and the oxygen out of your system when you're training. And what Boyer is demonstrating here is the lunge, and we can actually work two parts of the legs here. We can work the frontal, frontal thighs as well as the hamstrings and the glute part. As he steps forward, he's working on this leg, he's hitting the thigh. On the other leg, he's hitting the hamstring. And a lot of women, Troy, like this exercise because, because they it, have a lot of problems with their glutes sometimes. Absolutely, because it shapes the butt and hardens the butt, yeah. where most women have a problem with, with that area. That's so right. this, again, when you come down, you're stretching the front thigh, but you're also working the hamstring and the butt. Right. Does it matter how much weight, or is the weight very important Weight's here? irrelevant. It's all making, it, exactly, bodybuilding isn't about lifting heavy weights. It's about I making you do the weight and doing it right. Okay. okay. 
Okay, Sean, here we go. Again, this is another exercise that you want to make sure that you pick a spot somewhere out in space or on the wall to look at to maintain your balance. Excellent. If you have a tendency to look down, you want to fall over. If you notice how uh, Boyer, he alternated each leg each time, where Sean, he'll do it on just one leg, maybe ten, eight to ten reps, and then switch like he just now. It That's doesn't it. matter how you do it, as long as you do the same amount of reps on each leg. That's it, Sean. Very good. I noticed some people... Troy will do this and actually step up on a block. Have you ever tried lot, that? What that I think people do is they try to get a little bit of stretch by doing it that way. Okay. Okay. I got it. I was wrong. As I was doing that, Moyer, when I stepped forward with my right leg, I felt the stretch more on my left thigh and more on my right glute. That, it's true. Uh, it's, it's basically a movement where you have to pay attention. You really have to feel it because a lot of times you concentrate so hard on the balance of right. just maintaining your balance, you don't really notice the work that's been done in the legs. That's right, a lot of coordination in this one. You guys stay with us because we've got a couple of other guests that are gonna come on and give us some more tips about legs as well as shoulders. All right, Boyer, let's keep it going. About four sets, four exercises, Troy? Absolutely, yeah, that's perfect. That's what 